Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about one of the best 1v1 PvP builds in New World. It involves two different weapons, of course. I'm not going to tell you which one because I don't want to spoil the ending of this 1v1 tournament, but $500 on the line. They came through, and if you guys want to learn more about this tournament, we have previous videos and live streams on it, so you guys can do exactly that. The 1v1 begins now. Great community event. And I want to say one more time before we get into this last match. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate the awesome support we've had. The community has been great. We've had support from New World with the 10 New World copies given away. We've had support from New World Database giving us uh, you know, $700 to the top three winners, which is huge. It's going to continue to help us with prize pulls. And this is an exciting fight. So we here see Trix PTR against Nerf Bow. It's going to be a big fight here. Trix is going to actually Ice and Tomb very, very early. The Ice Storm is not going to hit. We're going to see an explosive grenade traps. You guys know Nerf Bow. If you haven't seen him before, you're going to see it here. He is very good with these traps, and that's usually what wins him the game. The you know how good those pylons can be. Those pylons continuing to do a lot of damage, but the flamethrower is coming out. Trick's going to use a health pot here. Going to try to stay on top of him with the flamethrower. You know flamethrower is the way that Trick is going to win. There's no other really way to win than putting that pylon down and staying on top of him with the flamethrower. Nerf bow is going to have a hard time dealing with this as a musket because Nerf bow is, look at this, he's trying so hard. He can't get rid of that pylon. That pylon is still up doing damage. Trick barely missed the ice storm. If he put a better out ice storm there, this game would have already been over. The fireball hits though and it should still be over nerf bow should be losing that one trick going to be taking this series 1-0 can't hit pylon so is there Ooh, he can't hit the pylon I'll, t I'll tell you this right now i, I he should have gone bow and musket well I, I think he thinks it's a glitch that uh that happened there um but it might be a four shot we saw it before it was a four shot he said he shot it three times i don't think it's a four shot though we saw it with trick um i don't know i I don't believe that was the big difference there, so I'm not. I don't think we do much about that, unfortunately. Uh, I it's hard to really know, right? You you can't see the exact shots. If it happens again, we will reset. Though we will use that kind of as a warning. A uh, trick didn't do anything illegal there, so it was just kind of unfortunate. Um, you know, you didn't put the pylon out before the duel started, so there was no really forced glitches. But we'll see what happens here. We'll see if he's able to take out that pylon. Trix is actually going to start down on health, but you know how strong that flamethrower can be. He's on top of him. Nerf bow getting trapped. A little bit in this corner and it's not what you want to see because no, trick is no down 50 percent if he goes the aggressive with the rapier he might be able to burst him you can see the ice gauntlet still doing so much damage with that ice storm and then the flamethrower in the ice gauntlet ice storm is absolutely massive damage we've seen it many times trick always wins these fights when he does exactly that so you can see he's not stepping away from that flamethrower although he does get trapped gives nerf bow a good chance to hit a shot and this could be a good fight. We actually see the, the grenade. The grenade. Oh Trick might goodness. not have seen it either. That was going to be a lot of damage, but he dodged actually at the right time to avoid a lot of it. Trick's going to get a lot of damage taken. This could be a very, very close 1v1 here. Oh, he lands the grenade again. What a perfect grenade by Nerf Bow. Oh my goodness, he's hitting the damage. Oh, and he takes out Tricks. Nerf Bow takes out Tricks. With That's a huge a win by Nerf Bow. Now we're at one to one, right? And this is a best of five. Both agree right. to the best of five, I believe. So we are looking at a best of five. It's one to one. I don't really have the graphic for the best of five, unfortunately. So we're going to be stuck at the one to one. But just realize it is a best of five. Um, they are tied at one to one. We'll see what happens here in just a minute. This is going to be a much more intense fight than we've you know seen with the double ray peers because. This musket can do so much burst so quickly. And you can see there the rapier is going to apply a lot of damage. Already at 50% health. Trix has to use a health pot. Nerf is going to be backing up here trying to use a health pot himself. Going with the rapier, hitting the repost. Not going to actually be doing any damage with it though. Trix is going to continue to go into that entomb. You see Nerf Bow applying the, it looks like the powder burn potentially. So his next shot, you got to watch out for. Nerf Bow, watch out for his next shot. It's going to be the one to watch out for. He uses it on the pylon. Not sure if that's a great use, but it's unfortunately probably had to do it. You see that he's actually not taking too much damage here. He's doing a great job. Yep, he's at five stacks, but he's keeping the pressure on. Oh, Flourish hitting there. Stagger on Trix. Oh, Trix is stammed out here. Looking like he's in trouble. Burnout's going out. Oh, man. Crap almost landed. Pylon's out again. This pylon, Trick's we already know, applies a ton area. of pressure. Nerf cannot get to the so pylon because Trick's in front of it. This is one of the best things Trick's can do. If he can stay in front of the pylon and make sure that pylon doesn't die, he's going to win this fight, and that's an obvious. We know that. We've seen it before. And the flamethrower comes in with the damage. fireball. It's too much damage, too much burst, and too much really consistent damage you can't block. You can't really block flamethrower. You can't dodge flamethrower. It just continues to stack. It continues to do damage. Same with that pylon. It continued to put out 
tons and tons of damage. So much damn. Two to one tricks. See it. Two to one tricks. This happens. is for the finals, guys. Five hundred dollars on the line for tricks here. We uh, we all know that this could be anybody's game yet. We saw Nerf doing big things. We know that it really comes down to his traps. His trap game has been unbelievable this tournament. And you can see the repost there being activated. Like I said, that's a new thing being activated by the flamethrower. Nerf bow going to be down very heavily here in the beginning, down fifty percent. So this could be a close matchup. Trick's going to continue to provide a lot of damage with the Ice Storm and the Flamethrower. Nerf is going to be looking weak, but a big repost there into a trap. Oh, he it stops the trap. The yep, that was a huge cleanse by Trix, knowing his abilities. Flamethrower pressure just coming out, just squirting everywhere. Jesus Christ. It's it's too much. It's too oppressive. He can't do much finish. about it. Uh, but this is still, like Can I said, anybody's it, game. 50 for, it's a 50-50. The totem's out, though. Trix now just used oh, a health pot. It's looking this rough grenade. here. Uh, the fireball, though, I think that missed. He dodged through it, and it's actually going to be very, very yeah, close to a 50-50 again. And Nerf Bow is going to have his health pot up soon, too. Oh, my goodness. This trap here. Trix dodges through it. I think so. Yep, that's it. The Nerf trick goes down with again. the flamethrower, it's too much. That's a GG across the board, everyone. That was a great tournament, and I cannot you know, say thank you enough to everybody that came for not just the players, but the viewers as well. That was a lot of fun, and I think we have to all give a shout-out to Trick Trick. If you guys aren't watching him on Twitch, you're missing out. He's got some great PvP content, typically running the Ice Gauntlet Blunderbuss, the Fire Staff. He loves the Fire Staff, unfortunately. It's just, uh, you know, that flamethrower. He showed you how good it is, and uh, that's maybe one of the maybe one of the only abilities that uh, he loves, but uh, he he's done a lot of great things for this community, so I would jump over, like I said, check his stream out. A very big $500 win for him. And let's not forget about the runner-up. Nerf Bow had a great tournament. Uh, you know, that musket, that, that rapier, it was a great build. It was a great solid place for him to be second place. Like I said, I think that's believe I believe that's $300 for him and uh, three New World game copies. So huge shout out to everybody participating. A very, you know, great tournament. And uh, if you guys haven't already, make sure to follow this Twitch channel here. We'll do more tournaments here in the future. And we're also going to continue to do tournaments and stream them and do videos on them as well on YouTube. So youtube.com slash iGraphicEye. Thank you. A big shout out as well to Good Guy. Good Guy is the guy that was definitely the good guy today because he was hosting this tournament through the DMs, getting everyone prepared. So you didn't have too long to wait in between matches. It was one of the best things we've had. A, a very good ref or a very good host director or whatever you want to call him. He was there for it. We also have Cleo Manitz, and Cleo Manitz, um, he's he's one of those guys that he knows a lot about the game, right? He's good at that that what we call casting, and he continued to help us through a lot of these calls. So thank you again to both of them for helping putting on this tournament. Uh, this was a good time, and I really do appreciate you guys all stopping out. Thank you, Graphic. Appreciate you, man. You have anything Thanks to say, Cleo? What do you expect out of out of some of these people? Like, I mean, these were some great fights. Do you think what Trick was running the fire staff? And uh, the Ice Gauntlet, do you think that's the strongest 1v1 build? Or do you think Trick's just a better player right now? Um, You know, for, for 1v1, I think, you know, it, it's tough. There, there are a lot of good builds now, and the meta has shifted so much. Pylon is incredibly strong. Um, you know, I, I think Bow Spear is great. Fire Ice is great with that Pylon in 1v1. Um, we didn't really see any Sword and Shield. You know, I, I thought we'd see a little more Sword and Shield. I we think didn't, use it, we didn't see a single Sword and Shield. S we didn't Sword see a Shield single hammer Void is Gauntlet. such a sleeper didn't see one shot either. combo. It is. No, it's unbelievable. We tested the other it's day. It's a sleeper. We it's tested the other day. It's, it's such a sleeper combo. So, but it, yeah, it's def it's definitely a strong one for sure. But like in in this matchup, let's say Nerf Bow had gone spear. Let's say he had gone spear and um and 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 musket. Right. I mean, he could have landed a spear throw when he was flamethrowing and comboed him and grenaded him and done some stuff. So it, it, it's tough to say really what the best 1v1 is, but I think all of these are, are definitely strong contenders for sure, as we saw. So congratulations, to Trick Trick, for winning the first ever tournament from us. Uh, I really do appreciate the awesome support from him and many others in the community. Thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next one.